Alright, how did you enjoy the b-roll sequence that I filmed all by myself? Today I thought we're going to do an updated version of the how to film b-roll of yourself video 2.0 because it's been two years since I made that video and I thought that I would share with you my up-to-date tricks and tips when it comes to filming b-roll of yourself. For all of us who are YouTubers, we know there's those moments where we got to film footage of ourselves and we got to get creative shots of ourselves, but it can be hard, I admit it. So that's why I want to give you some tips and tricks to help you today to become better at filming b-roll of yourself. Alright, so this first shot was inspired by my friend Yossi Alexander. I want to try it out myself. So basically the shot is where the camera bag is closed on top of a camera. I lift up the camera bag, I place the lens in there, and I close the bag again. And what basically the reason why I want to do this is that when the camera bag closes on top of it, it goes into black and then I can sequence it into the next shot easily. So now we're filming the second shot of the sequence. Basically, I'm gonna transition from the backpack covering the camera to then all of a sudden my backpack covering the camera here, which go from black to black, and I'm gonna walk away from the tripod, giving that nice seamless in-camera transition. All right, so with the gimbal, we're gonna get a lot of moving shots. This will get you those nice stable shots that you need of yourself. So I'm gonna film from multiple different angles, from my feet, from the side, maybe of me just walking, and I do all those different shots just so I have multiple of angles to cut to when I'm doing this B-roll sequence. So now we're gonna mix in some drone shots into it. Drones are really great because you can just throw it up in the air, create some nice establishing shots, and as well you can just leave it flying in the air while filming and walking around, or you can just hold the control in your hand and move it with you. Be careful when you're doing this, but definitely worth it when you're trying to get some B-roll of yourself. So you gotta spin around and calibrate this guy. <laughs> and then make sure that you look up to see if there's any power lines, because you don't want to hit the power lines with your drone. We're all clear. Alright, now we're filming the iPhone to get these behind the scenes shots because I realized that I need two cameras for this sequence. But basically we're using a Joby Gorilla Pod here so we can get really low to the ground and really flexible to just get these detail shots of the camera backpack and me unzipping the zipper and all that. So having a Joby, really great. You can be really flexible and put it anywhere you really want. So that's why I'm using Joby, tripod, gimbal and the drone today. How'd you guys like that behind the scenes experience of the B-roll sequence? Hopefully that will help you just get some ideas of how I film those shots of myself and just to help you guys figure out how you can film B-roll of yourself. But as well today, I wanna to give you five tips on how to shoot B-roll of yourself. And tip number one is shoot from multiple angles. Just like when you're filming someone else, a subject, you would film them from multiple angles. But I know when you're filming yourself, sometimes it can feel dumb or you start feeling a little bit lazy and you end up not filming enough shots. But when you're filming B-roll of yourself, when you wanna make a B-roll sequence, you need a whole lot of shots of yourself from all sorts of different angles. So film from the left, film from the right, film from the front, film from the back, film from low, film from high. Whatever you can come up with, just film more than you even need, just so that when you get to the editing side of things, you don't get into trouble. So tip number one is make sure that you film from multiple angles. Tip number two, make sure you have your establishing shot. Even though you're gonna have a whole bunch of epic B-roll, it doesn't make sense if you don't establish the shot, if you don't establish the scenery or in the environment that you're in. So for example, when I did my B-roll sequence, I wanted to have that really, really, really wide drone shot of the bridge just to help the audience know where we are and what we're gonna be doing. So make sure that you always include your establishing shot when you make a B-roll sequence and film B-roll of yourself. Tip number three, make sure that you add motion to the shot. Now, there's basically three different ways that you can add motion to the shot. You can, for example, move yourself to create motion in the shot, 
Or for example, I use the gimbal to be able to film myself while moving so there was a little bit of movement with the actual camera movement. And if you find it hard to film yourself, you can just put the camera in a static way and then in the computer, add some digital zoom to create movement. But it's really important that you have movement to keep the B-roll sequence interesting and to flow nicely rather than just static shots everywhere. So make sure you include movement, whether that's from you moving yourself or the camera moving itself or using a digital zoom with the computer. But make sure you have movement in your B-roll sequences. Tip number four, make sure you film slow motion. Now this is a little bit of a cheating trick, but basically when you're filming slow motion, it's gonna buy you more time. You only are gonna need that one or two seconds in focus when you're filming yourself. Whereas if you were filming in 24 frames per second, you're gonna need a lot more footage, a lot more footage in focus in order to edit that B-roll sequence. So make sure you film in slow motion. And also it just looks a lot more epic. And tip number five is make sure that you use all available tools. Like you saw in my B-roll sequence, when you saw those behind the scenes shots, I was using a mixture of the Joby Gorilla Pod, Tripod, Gimbal, and as well a drone. I was using a lot of different tools, but all the different tools were allowing me to get different kinds of shots. For example, with the Joby, I was able to put it a little bit lower to the ground or be able to flex it around to get nice shots. With a tripod, I was able to get high enough and nice static shots of the camera coming out of my bag, for example. And then with the gimbal, I was able to do nice walking smooth shots of my feet and of myself to get that nice movement. And lastly, the drone. Well, you can just throw the drone up in the air, leave it filming while you're walking around or just hide the controller in your hand and just move forwards. When you are filming with the drone, please be careful. There's so much room for error in those moments when you're trying to walk down a pathway and fly a drone at the same time. So make sure that you really check out the environment first and don't make any mistakes because I wouldn't want you crashing your drone. That'd be awful. I've done it a few times and let's just say it never feels good. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed how to film B-roll of yourself version 2.0. I definitely think it was time for a new updated video because the video I made two years ago, or was it three years ago? Let's just say it wasn't that good now in hindsight. But hopefully the tips and tricks and all the behind the scenes footage really will help you out when it comes to filming B-roll of yourself. And now it's time for this week's shout out moment. If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet heard what a shout out moment is, basically every single week I highlight one new up and coming YouTube content creator because I know the feeling when I first started out, it's really frustrating We put so much love and effort into a video and not that many people see it. So that's why I wanna give you guys shout outs and help you guys grow in your channel. And this week's shout out moment goes to Sam Holland. Sam has a great YouTube channel. He's creating a lot of content very consistently. A lot of videos about gear, tutorials, filmmaking, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you go check it out. Congrats, Sam, and keep it up. Don't give up. Keep continuing to create consistently. If you wanna be a part of next week's shout out moment, all you gotta do is comment below and be a part of this community because I want this to be a very engaged community where we share thoughts, encourage each other, help each other go forward in the photography and filmmaking journey. All right guys, thanks for being a part of this video. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit here. And as well, if you wanna see last week's video, click here or here. Let's link two videos this week. All right guys, have a fantastic week.